Hey YouTube, this your girl Amber Gonzalez from Amber Gonzalez TV. Y hoy yo quiero hablar con ustedes sobre de mis planes para 2017, uh, mis metas para este año y lo que quiero hacer aquí por YouTube, uh, todo eso. Y uh, voy a explicar todo en inglés después. So I will explain everything in English after. So, um, gracias por ver and let's go ahead and get started. The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left Número uno, yo quiero hacer más video en español aquí por YouTube. Es mi meta para este año, yo quiero hacer más video en español para ustedes y también para mis estudiantes porque ellos siempre me dicen que le gustan cuando yo hago video en español. Por eso voy a hacer más video en español también. Número dos, voy a tratar de hacer un video cada mes sobre de mi trabajo. Cómo está la vida de una agromosa, um, una azafata de vuelo. Ustedes quieren ver eso también. Um, yo sé que he recibido seguidores que solamente quieren ver sobre de la vida de un flight attendant. So, por eso, trataré de hacer un video cada mes sobre ese tópico. Número 3. <ríe> viajar. Viajar más. Yo tengo una lista de países que quiero visitar. Brasil, México, Honduras, uh, China y Thailand. So, sí, esos son los países que quiero visitar. Y claro que sí, voy a visitar a otros países también. Pero en mi lista, yo dije que mira. Tengo que visitar Brasil este año. Mira, no hay excusas, nada, yo voy. <laughs> so, definitely Brasil. Y finalmente, número cuatro. Tal vez ustedes no saben que uh, estoy en la escuela en este momento. Por eso no hice mi video en uh, francés todavía, porque yo no tenía tiempo porque estoy estudiando todos los días. Estoy estudiando uh, español médico, entonces en estos días estoy estudiando español médico para obtener mi certificado para uh, ser intérprete de español en los hospitales y sí. So, entonces es una meta que quiero completar este año, um, quiero obtener mi certificado nacional um, para ser intérprete. Y sí, tengo muchos planes y sí, ahora explico todo en inglés. Now I will explain everything in English. So basically, I was explaining to everyone my plans for 2017. I do have goals. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Um, number one goal I have for YouTube is to upload more videos in just Spanish in Spanish okay um, because a lot of you are always asking me for the Spanish videos I don't know if you noticed but last year I started doing more videos in Spanish so that's what I've been doing lately and it's because you all requested so much and since I've been doing that I've been gaining more viewers so obviously I want to keep doing that and I want to keep the money coming in so that means I got to keep y'all watching <laughs> so I'm going to do more videos in Spanish and also because my students that I'm tutoring, they want to see more videos of me speaking Spanish too because it helps them. Okay, number two, I'm going to try to upload one video every month revolving around um, a flight attendant life. So I have gained viewers off of some of my flight attendant videos and you all have so many questions you write me on Instagram, you DM me, you write me on Facebook and you just have so many questions about becoming a flight attendant. So I will do that for you. Be looking out for that. It's not a flight attendant channel, but because that is a part of my life, I do share that with you all. Moving on, number three, to travel more. I have five countries particularly that I want to go to this year i have to go to because i didn't get to go last year brazil mexico honduras china and thailand i have to go to those countries this year it's going to happen now of course i'm going to still travel to other countries but those are just the five that i have to go to so but y'all already know i'm going back to dr this year i'm still going back to puerto rico because i got some business to take care of there so i'm still going to be traveling to other places of course i'm going back to korea you know ya tu sabe you already know that 
So last but not least, number four. So this might be news for you all, but um, for the last month or so, I've been um, taking medical interpreting training courses online. I'm trying to complete this 40 hour program so that I can get my 40 hour completion certificate. That will open the door for me to actually uh, qualify to take the national exam. It's been a struggle y'all. I've always done interpretation jobs in Atlanta, but here's the thing. Some places don't necessarily require the certification. They just require proficiency in the language. And nine times out of 10, they will run their own proficiency um, exam on you. So that's how I used to do. I just be like, all right, send them in, let them talk to me and y'all can verify my skill. It was easy. But this time I wanna actually get certified because it just looks better on your resume and it's a possibility that you can make more money so that's what i'm working on this year it is a little difficult the whole interpretation course because i'm learning so much y'all for a lot of native speakers they go into the exam room and they sign up to take these uh the court interpreter exam medical interpreter exam and they usually fail they have a very high fail rate and it's because it's a lot of stuff you have to know you have to know localization you have to understand false cognates a lot of stuff it comes with interpreting you have to understand and here's the situation a lot of people know how to interpret word from word but they don't know how to interpret an expression for example it's raining cats and dogs that's something that we say here if you say in spanish está lloviendo gatos y perros a spanish person is going to be like what is raining cats and dogs that's what a uh what do you call it? um a very unexperienced interpreter would do a very amateur person would do so in these courses, they actually teach you on how to interpret the, the correct way. It's not necessarily to interpret word for word. Raining cats and dogs, the way that you would interpret that is it's raining heavily or it's raining hard, right? Difference between an amateur interpreter versus a, a qualified interpreter. So I'm learning a lot of that in these courses. It's really good for me. That's something I want to get completed this year. So... I gotta get it completed before I turn 26 because it's stuff that I'm trying to do. And yeah, so that's it y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed my plans for this year. What are your plans for this year? I wanna read them, put them in the comment section below. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you feel like you wanna share it to help someone, go ahead and hit the share button. Yeah. <laughs> Eso es todo, gracias por ver y hasta luego. Yeah, yeah. Na, 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 na. Yeah. It's Batsy, baby, oh. Batsy, baby, oh. Na, 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 na. Yeah. It's your happy day. It's your wedding day. Make we celebrate, oh. Make we celebrate, oh. To make you dance. Let me be your man tonight, tonight And I just wanna be the one you like, you like Moni, go power like Ojo Say I want you to be mine Moni, go power like Ojo Say I want you to be mine oh. It's your happy day It's your wedding day Make me celebrate Baby oh, baby oh, baby oh I just want you to 
be my lady, yeah. What God has joined together. Let no man put us under, yeah. Baby, oh, baby, oh, baby, oh. I'll give you love and affection. I'll give you love and protection. Money, go far, ballet, go joe. Say, I want you to be mine. Money, go far, ballet, go joe. Say, I want you to be mine.